did you did you find that there's extra pressure going second and and kind of seeing the bar already raised from Team Christina and Team Blake last week? You know. Something new. Um, well, here's the thing. I, I, wanna, I, wanna I feel up. extra pressure. So um, uh, no. And, uh, I was just really focused on, you know, hitting all the moves and stuff that they gave me, all the choreography and, you know, learning the lyrics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel like the, the song choice, is it going forward kind of a battle between you and your coach? Are you kind of letting your coach lead you in terms of what you're going to do next, or do you have a wish list that you want to kind of tick off? I had a wish list after this week. I won't be here next week, so... <laughs> you don't know that. Uh, it was a very fun... It was a fun performance. Yeah. I think your fans will rally. Yeah, no. Uh, I, uh, I would like to stay true to who I am as an artist. And if you watch the blind edition, I say, hey, hey there, Delilah. It's very true to who I am. This is not Vegas show. I don't know what this is. It's just going in a lane that's not me and I, you know, not having creative control over what's happening is a little competing. I'm kind of over this whole thing. Do you think, well, tomorrow, I mean, everybody, if, if you have to sing for your life or whatever they're calling it, is that, are you choosing the song for that They gave us a list of 200 songs. Oh. I got to choose out of those 200 songs. Did you find one that you think is more in your vein? So that yeah, way at least I found one that I like. Okay. I mean, obviously none of them are ideal, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm a singer songwriter, so yeah. you know, I consider myself a true artist. And yeah. for this, I was really like writing songs, like you know, in Portland, Oregon. I moved there just to write and. Mm -hmm. Um, I was in the emergency room two days ago, so for oh, wow. you should have brought more energy. It's like I'm dealing with some. Yeah, she didn't know that, probably. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And like the choreography aspect of it is like everything was choreographed, so I couldn't work with more male dancers more because they told me exactly how to move and what to right. do. Right, right. So. I just was carrying out someone's elaborate plan. Sure. You know, yeah. and I did the best that I could with the circumstances. Um, but, you know, if I do make it to the next round, which I'm not going to, I would like to sing a song in front of a piano or sure. guitar because that's who I am. Yeah. Um, and I would just like people to know that. And the whole battle round thing has just kind of screwed me over, you know, because it's not. I don't was, sing Tina Turner. Right, right. And it's like, would you have Dan Frampton sing Tina Turner? Would you have, you know, uh, Nora Jones? Um, sing Tina Turner I really did. against really two rock and roll boys. <laughs> right. No, you right. wouldn't. You know, and that whole ah! thing that I did, that was because I could hear myself in the monitor. So people are being really hateful about it. Well, they don't know. I mean, that's the thing. They don't know what's going on behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah, they don't. It's just unfortunate. It's just a negative society. So. I'm just, you know, I'm a little tired. I could understand. 